In this video, we're going to talk about how to run for office with no money. It does require a unique strategy. You do have to rely on people if you don't have money. It can be done. In this video, I'm going to explain how it's done and stick with me till the end because I got a free gift for you. What we're going to cover in this video is how you build a strong network, how you get volunteers, how you develop a following, how you make use of social media, and how you make use of something I call free press. It's golden if you know how to use it. Topic number one, how do you build a strong network? network. Well, here's the truth about politics. If there are 100,000 people voting an election, there are 500 to 1,000 whose voices matter a lot more than the rest of the voters, because voters quite often rely on what influencers and opinion leaders have to say about a particular candidate. And one of the keys to running a campaign without any money is having people with a strong network, a strong following regarding as opinion leaders who will help you spread your message with their endorsements, with their supports, by emailing their friends, by posting about you on their social media accounts. Where do you find these people who are influencers and opinion leaders? Well, what about the leaders of the political party with which you are affiliated? All political parties have organizations in a leadership tier. What about the elected officials who are members of your party who've already gone through an election, who already have a retinue of followers? who already understand how this is done? What about the interest groups that care passionately about the office that you are running for? Perhaps te teachers unions or public employee unions or civic and community organizations that care passionately about the job you might get if it comes with the power to decide who gets what at budget time. But uh, my point here is that you must develop this strong network because if you do not have lots of people involved in your campaign, you're going to find it very difficult to end up on top on election day. The second thing you need is volunteers. And how do you get volunteers? Never get tired of asking. Ask every day, every hour, whatever you need to do. Where do you ask? If you've got a website, you got to ask them on the website. If you got a Facebook account, you got to ask them on your Facebook posts, Instagram account, ask, Twitter account, ask, TikTok videos, YouTube videos, always pitch for volunteers. Once you have them, put them to work, keep them organized, and turn them into a force. And this is the thing about volunteers. Once you get them in the door, and once they are part of a movement, they have to have fun. And not just getting volunteers, but you have to keep them engaged with what they're doing, make their tasks very, very simple, and make them feel a part of your cause. The third point I will mention in this video is the importance of your message. Voters want to know what you're going to do for them. They want to know how you're going to improve their quality of life. They want to know what problem you are going to fix. They want to know what wrong you will right, what injustice you will correct. They're not going to come out and say that, but if they expect you to tell them that. So your message is key because if you're running a grassroots campaign, part of your message as you look at these things that you're going to do for people is pick one that is unique to you, something that you are going to do that none of your competitors will do, something that you are absolutely passionate about, things that you can say that no one else can say. Because in a campaign with no money, your unique selling proposition, that one reason that makes you better than anybody else, is critically important. Point four, in a campaign with no money, social media is your next to best friend after 
volunteers. It is your mouthpiece. It is the only way for you to disseminate your message. Now, if you have a powerful message, it will work on social media, but you can't just post pictures of your dog and expect great things to happen. You have to be incessant. You have to be looking for ways to expand your Facebook posts with lots of people who share your message. Same thing with a Twitter post, same thing with an Instagram post, TikTok video, YouTube video, Video. So part of your pitch in any video is, if you like what I have to say, help me spread my message. Send it to your friends, your colleagues, and let's get this election won. You have to make massive use of it because otherwise, since you can't afford television or more conventional forms of advertising, it is your only way to do it. Oh, by the way, if you have a question or a comment, please leave it in the comment section. I do try and respond to every question I get. And of course, even if you have something unpleasant to say, I will look at your comment. Point five about doing this with no money. You have an avenue that's available to you if you know how to use it. And it's called the free press. What is free press? It's the reporters who write political stories for newspapers. It's radio stations that love to talk to guests about why they're running for office, particularly talk radio. Podcasters are income becoming increasingly important in politics. If you can get yourself on a cable news program for an interview or anything else, take advantage of it. Because here's the point, you have to replace not only on social media, but you have to use the free press to help disseminate your message because there's no other way to do it. Now, when I say free press, well, that's kind of the point. It doesn't cost you anything to do a newspaper or any other kind of radio. The point I would make you, if you are going to do these things, when you have your shot, know your stuff, be well-dressed, be competent in, in the way you look, your comportment, and make sure that you can articulate your campaign message in a way that voters can easily understand the point you're trying to make. All right, one thing about money before we go. I know the title of this video is How to Win with No Money, but it's very, very difficult to be frank about it. It's a lot easier if you have a few dollars here and there. Money is not a dirty word. It is not evil. It is the way we live and it's part of our political culture. So if you have people along the way that want to contribute to your campaign, if you have people who want to do fundraisers for you, by all means, take them up on it because at least you'll have some in the kitty to help feed your volunteers pizza when they come home after a long day. By the way, before we go, I'm gonna tell you how to get my free book. It's in the link below. The worst mistakes candidates make and how you can avoid them. Be sure and get it.